This Nintendo Switch Lite is in for repair due to a missing Joy-Con as well as a busted charging port. While the board is out, we'll go ahead and replace that Joy-Con first. We can see here that it's only being held in by two screws, so the installation is pretty straightforward. Now we can focus our attention on the charging port using our low melt solder, helping lower that melting temperature, making for an easy extraction and cleanup. It's important that we clean all of the low melt solder added during the extraction process, since this solder is not ideal for a final connection due to that lower melting temperature. With the inconvenient location of our battery pin connector, we will be using thermal pads and capped on tape to protect all the plastic components next to the charging port. And using our hot air station will heat up the area and we can see how those thermal pads expand as they absorb the heat. But once we remove them, we can see our plastic connectors are still in place. The final step of the job will be soldering down the charge port's legs, cleaning up the motherboard, and testing.